Hello everyone, how's it going and welcome back to the magical land of Enderor. So last time we began our pursuit of the second of the three black stones and we got two hints towards that out of the three. And basically the hints, if I show you here, where the hell are they? Uh, here we go. If you look, the important part is here right at the end. Basically it seems like if we get all three hints we can then combine each of the letters together to form what the sentences say. So that's probably going to be like, uh, knock on the door of the Grand Cathedral and jump on one leg and then the Jade Monkey will show you the way at the stroke of midnight. Something along those lines, I suspect, but right now we don't know. We got two of the notes, we need one more. We found both of them on corpses in sewers. Someone called the Bone Lord or the Bone Judge, I think it was Bone Judge, has basically been punishing people... Uh, that were bad, according to the notes. Let's just go watch the last episode. Why am I explaining this shit to you? Anyway, so the third clue is uh, over there, near the Sun Temple, apparently. I can't tell if that's actually inside Ark. It's not, is it? No, that's like well outside Ark. Well, the crap. Okay, so how are we going to get there? Great question. Uh, I guess we could go from the mill and then kind of cut around here. I don't know how easy that's going to be. It depends on the terrain, but I guess that's what we'll try. So I, I will see you at the middle. Okay, well, we have arrived. Remember when I said I'd see you at the mill? I guess I lied. But uh, I didn't really find anything between the mill and here. It actually didn't take very long at all. I guess the most interesting thing was that guy with, like, basically a pack yak. Or whatever the hell those white things are. And a donkey. I wonder if he's a merchant. Actually, let's see. Because, I mean, it would make sense. Can we duck? No, come back! I saw you start to speed up there. He does buy things. This could be very handy. A fellow traveler. Stay on the roads. Okay, hang on here. Do you have anything to trade? I found some stuff. You have? Well, sure. Let me see. Or tell me what you need. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know. Alright, so this is what he sells. He also sells she see I, I fucked it up. He also sells she sells Oh my lord. Look, I just woke up. Let's try this again. He also sells seashells on the seashore. Good work, Brain! Proud of you. Alright, so... <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna buy the Ambrosia. I'm gonna buy one, because they're expensive. Uh, what can we sell him right now that we don't want to carry? We got the Reality Hammer. I see we get rid of that. I don't think we need it. It's also very heavy. I don't think we've picked up much recently, actually. No, we haven't. Uh, I don't think we need this Mask of the Fool, and I know we have other ones. Sure, let's sell that one for now. God, I hope I don't regret that. And frankly, I think that's about it, really. I should do something with these blueprints, like put them away. I mean, I don't weigh much, but all combined, like, it's a few pounds that we don't need to be carrying. I suppose we could sell him these gems. Let's do that. Oh, wait. Let's not. Because he's already out of money. You suck. The worst merchant of all time. In that case, I'm going to buy the other Ambrosia and these health potions and this mana potion. And now you have some money. Now buy my goddamn gems. You suck. You actually suck. Oh, look at all these butterflies I'm carrying this one. I am such a hoarder. God damn it. Alright, um... He's only got 107, so we'll sell you that. And then you can have one garnet. One. Alright, now get out of my sight, you disgust me. Wait, 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 wait. I'm lying. You have another dialogue option. Yes, greetings, whatever. Uh, did you hear any rumors or stories which could be of interest for an adventurer like me who has not taken an arrow in the knee? What are you looking at, donkey? Huh, let me think. I heard those prospectors talking about the old abandoned mining town up in the mountains, Northwind. They said that if you can handle yourself in a fight, you might still find some valuable stuff up there. I don't know. Maybe you want to go and take a look at it. Didn't sound half as interesting as I was hoping. I thought he was going to be like, Well, I heard of this cult that's hanging around uh, the old mill. And then we go explore it, and it turns out they're opening a portal into oblivion. Not the realm, the game itself. And we're like, whoa! And then, yeah. I don't know. Alright, so anyway, in we go into the old granary. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, that was a quick load screen. I wasn't prepared for... the hell is this? Is that water coming down from the ceiling? Or is that great? It could be green. We're in a granary. Think about it. Think about it. You know what? Since we have uh, some food, not a lot. Because you may remember at the end of the last episode, I was like, I'm going to loot all this food. It was all stale. It was all outdated. So it was useless. So I didn't pick it up. Bad rat. Bad rat. Alright. Need to be a lot of rats. Huh. Oh, come here. Come here. Yeah. 
We got a Tufa. Alright, see you over there, money bag. Okay. An expert luck. I don't think I can handle that. Well, I guess we have to go that way. Well, no, we don't, because there is a key. And we got a note. Honestly, old man, I don't get what all the fuss is about. I need a storage. Yeah, I need a storage? Okay. I need storage. Your attic is almost empty, and I would pay you a goddamn 15 pennies per week. Isn't that enough? You act like you've got the jewels of the Golden Queen in your attic. Come on! Give it a try. P.S. And regarding your rat problem, you have to find out where those critters came from. Maybe from some holes in the wall. Uh, when you've found them, put a big stone in front of it or block it in any other way that should... It, wait, in, other, in any other way, that should take care of it. Again, I, I sometimes forget that this is translated from German originally, and some of these, like, grammatical errors are just, like, breaking my brain. In any other way? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I could do any better, you know. Either translating from German or just speaking another language. I'm just saying, like, it's a little confusing sometimes. Oh, God. That's right. I forgot that we have the key. I wasn't expecting it to open that quickly. Yeah. Fireballs. Wasn't there a guy in that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie called Fireball or something like that? And he like sung like a uh, uh, oh god, what are they called? Uh, like an opera singer. He was like Fireball, something like that. I don't know. I can't remember what the movie was even called. Was it like The Running Man? I think it was The Running Man. Search Satchel. Note from the corpse of the farmer's ghost. This is the only one that hasn't been in a bloody sewer. Track Jasper down. Can I not read that? I guess not. All right. He's got something to do with Jasper. It's not really that surprising. Uh, maybe he... Oh, wait. We know Jesper's a bad man. Maybe the Bone Judge has Jesper! Oh, my God! All right, hang on. Let's read this. The lines were written by a trembling hand. Hereby I, Boreo Oatbash. Oatbash? Confess my sins. Driven by my greed, I abducted children from the Undercity for years and locked them up within this cellar. I abused them, tormented them, and eventually sold them to the highest bidder. A little dark. Here the front becomes shakier. The font becomes shakier. On the parchment, dried blood is recognizable. Now the time of my punishment has come, and I thank the bone judges ready, who will carry out the sentence. Enchained, I will be forced to watch as a pack of rats devour me alive. My screams will be heard no more than the ones of the souls whose lives are ruined here. Boreo Oatbash, child trafficker and murderer. In a different handwriting for my brothers in arms. Oh bloody hell, now we gotta combine all of these. How are we gonna do this? Alright. Think. Think, 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 think. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, so, the first word ends in a K. <laughs> let's, let's read the other notes. The first word starts in... Wait, where does the first word end? Starts in a K, okay, oh god. I don't, I don't know how to string this together, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh... Knock? Knock, who's there? Cried? Okay, well, I've got the first part. Knock, knock, who's there? And then see something, something, I. Bear with me. We gotta, we gotta do this. Okay, there's an O in there. Um. Knock, knock, who's there? Was the C at the end? No, I don't think it was. Shit. Alright, we need to know what the first letter is of that. God damn, I hate to go in and out of this menu every time because it's glitchy as hell. Uh, the sewers. Alright, okay. Oh, okay, okay. So. This is confusing. Like, how, how big these spaces are is not indicative of how many letters there are. For example, if you look at there, there's a big line at the end, but there's only an E. Okay, so anyway, we know the next word begins with C. So let's try and work on that. So, uh, okay. C-O. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Who's there? C-O. Okay, knock, knock, who's there? Come in. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Something L. <laughs> I got to for L. Okay. Begins with A. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, we're getting it. A-L. Uh. Knock, knock, who's there? A-L. Alone? Is it Alone? I think he might be alone. Hang on. Let's see if there's a, an N in this one. Yes. Alone in... Yeah, I think it's alone in... Something... Bloody hell. Oh my god. Well, we're, we're getting there. It's just taking a long time. Uh, we need to figure out what the... The next word begins with. Alone... Oh, I don't think it's in. I think it's if. Alone if only, maybe? Hang on. Hang on. Um... God damn, oh, I clicked on the wrong thing! It's, ah, it's the worst! It's the simple worst. Okay, I think I've got it. I think I got part of it slightly wrong. I think it's knock knock who's there, come in alone if you dare. That also rhymes. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. 
Yes. That that looks right to me. Okay, so knock knock who's there? Come in alone if you dare. Little creepy. Alright, so what does the journal say? The markings on the map will turn out to lead to murder scenes. In total, I found three victims of all of whom, by the looks of it, were gruesomely tortured to death. They also each left a letter in which they confessed to atrocities or atrocious crimes and thanked their murderer, the Bone Judge, for absolving them of their sins through their deaths. I also found a series of single letters at the end of each note. Put together, they form the following phrase, Knock knock, who's there? Coming alone if only you dare. I didn't even have to... Oh my god! <laughs> Apparently, the game just tells us. I I figured that out on my own. I apparently I was slightly grammatically off, but if if only you dare, if you dare, whatever. Uh, yeah, I thought it was if. Wait, alone if you dare. Well, whatever. Like, it was good enough. So I guess the alone part is not important. So track down Jasper. Uh. Apparently the markers like they. Sure, let's go to Ark, shall we? But before we do that, let's double check this room and the area surrounding. I get, you know, let's just a rest and see if we can uh, see if we can find anything around here to loot or something. Because uh, the note that we found earlier mentioned like a, a stone blocking. Oh, there's a chest here. Mentioned like a stone blocking where the rats were coming in, so we might be able to move a stone or something and find some booty. These are all quite quite cheap, and obviously we're not even going to get full price for them. So, I'm just not gonna bother, frankly. Just not gonna bother. So, where would the stone be that's blocking the rats? Maybe it's not even here, but... That seems like something they would do, because they, you know, they're all about, like, the little details in Enderal, so... Oh, here you go. Right there. Alright, so it's not important. We can't move it. But, they did do it. I was right about that. Alright, anyway, I'll see you in Ark. Okay, we're back in the Dancing Nomad, because this is where the marker has led us. This is where we tried to find him in the first place, and he wasn't here. Little confused about that. And now this arrow is pointing me out towards the foreign quarter. What? What? Uh... Wait. Wait, what? Holy crap. Okay. First of all, we found him. Second of all, that was the longest load screen ever. Good God. Hello. Jesper. What are you doing here? And why has it been so hard to find you, goddammit? You? Why are you here? Do you got a scratch in his face? Was that always there? Something I need to tell you. I was looking for you. Are you okay? You seem a little rattled. What? Uh, no, no. I Don't worry about it. I just needed some air. You know, I've had this question in my head for quite some time now, and I, I can't figure out the answer to it. Tell me. Maybe I can help. Okay. He Imagine appreciates that. Good. Ever since she was a child, she's been abused by her father. Beaten, in other words. She grows to be a woman, and eventually her father dies. Then she falls in love with a man who has a lot of similarities with her father. She doesn't know why she loves him, but she does. And though it all seems nice in the beginning, he becomes more and more aggressive, starts screaming at her for no reason, until one day he too grabs the cane she knows all too well. Now, the question. On a very conceptual level, who is responsible for the situation the woman's in? Her companion, because he abuses her? The woman herself, because she unconsciously picked a man similar to her father. Or her father, because he was the one who beat her in the first place. Everybody. I've actually had discussions like this with people that, um... You know, sometimes people, basically, not exactly like this exact scenario, but sometimes people fall in love with someone who is just, like, shit. And everyone else can see that they're shit. And they're like, yeah, but I love them. And you're like, yeah, but why? Like, they're, they're nothing but, like, bad for you. Anyway, so, I've genuinely had this discussion with, like, many people over the course of my life. Because, you know, I'm an old-ass man now. Uh, so, basically, I think, to a certain degree, if you get in a relationship with someone, um, and then they turn out to be shitty, it's partly your fault for not getting to know them properly in the first place. To know that they were a shitty human being before, you know, you either married them or moved in with them, etc, etc. And then, it's definitely your fault if you stay with them after they're like that. Yes, it's also their fault because they're a shit human being, but you're not exactly not to blame, you know what I mean? You, you can leave. <laughs> so, it's everybody's fault. Uh, okay, so what do we have here? There is no th such thing as guilt, we are all... Wait, we all only do as we're taught, sadly. Oh, shut up. The companion, of course, he's the one that... Uh, okay, the father, on considerable level, maybe her, at least in part, she never got over her past. Um... Since they will not give me the option for everyone, I would say the one most of fault? 
Uh, I suppose the companion is the one most of fault, but everybody in the scenario. Everybody. Inc the father... I don't know. <laughs> we'll go with that. From a logical point of view, yes. He's the one ultimately responsible for hitting her. But does he really consciously choose to do so? Or perhaps he too only imitates what he learned from his father? <sighs> I don't know. I noticed he didn't say it, but in the dialogue there on screen, he basically said, couldn't hypothetically she have seen it coming. It's basically what I just said. Any particular reason you are thinking about this? No particular reason, I suppose. I saw him beating anyway, you. you said you were looking for me. I'll What's protect wrong? you, buddy. Something I need to tell you. Let's tell him about all the murdered people. What, so the Archmagister really believes we Delverics owned one of those stones? I would have known that. Believe me, I've snuck inside our manor's treasure chamber more than once. And there was no black stone whatsoever. Insert a gay joke here about me sneaking inside his treasure chamber. Huh? And what about this package? And now I'm gesturing at my genitals. The mudders! Can you make sense of that? Not in the least, no. Setting aside the fact that what you're describing is bloody spooky, I don't have the slightest idea who have an interest in sending me on this morbid paper chase through Ark. Either whoever did this has mistaken me for someone else, or we're dealing with a seriously disturbed individual. Perhaps a little from column A, a little from column B. Well, if you believe those confession letters, all of those murder victims were criminals. If you ask me, this whole thing looks like some kind of revenge act. Yeah, I already suspected as much. But still, it doesn't change the fact that I have no idea who might be behind this, and why he sent me this package and not, for example, the Ark Guard. I see. What about the cipher at the end of each of the letters? Any idea as to what that might mean? But... It, we, we, no, we know what it meant! No, none. That's... Wait. Could you show me those letters no, no, again? who's there? Come, if only you I dare. wise hermit, that's... No, that, that's not possible. What? These fragments, if you combine all of them, they make a sentence. Knock, knock, who's there? Come in alone, if only you dare. I was right, he is alone! And they didn't say that in the German- Again, that's been translated from German. I figured out that much. What's that supposed to mean? Sherlock? It, but... No, that doesn't make sense. I know! I know that phrase from my childhood. Adila and me, it was... It was our code. When we snuck out of the house to go on one of our expeditions. We're following the leader, the leader, the leader. We're following the leader, wherever he may go. Your sisters, or your sister, so you're saying she could be behind all this? Yes, but... No, that, that just doesn't make sense. Adela's an apothecary, not a goddamn assassin. You said one of the corpses you found was a hired killer. How, how in blazes could my sister kill someone like that? Maybe she's not I... walking alone. Why? Or maybe she's been training. The Black Stone, it just adds up. If she found it, the High Ones could have driven her to kill these people and given her the power to do it. Or, like I said, maybe she's not working alone. Oh, come on, that's just bullshit. Even if the stone somehow gave her the power to do this, Adela wouldn't hurt a fly. Come on, I'll prove it to you. Meet me in Duneville. I'll take you to our hideout. But Duneville is so far away, Jesper. Me. Alright, so I guess we gotta go there. Can't open that. All right, I guess I'll see you in uh, in Duneville. Can I travel from here? Because uh, he's not even there yet, is he? Oh no, apparently he is. Okay, sure. Let's do that. Well, that took forever. You still called Dave? You are still called Dave. Uh, apparently he is right here. I am stuck in a pool of water. Ah, there you are. Yeah, Our old manor's in the desert, a few miles to the northwest from Duneville. It's quite a march, but doable. Oh, bloody hell, seriously? Oh, you want me to go on my own? Oh, you know what? I just spit. That's gross. No, I'm not going on my own. Oh, God. Alright, so where are we going? Jesper? I don't see the map marker, man. Jesper? Oh, it's there. Okay. Oh, we've already found that. I might be able to quick travel. Now, I know what you're thinking. But, Jason, that might break his AI like it did last time. It very well might. But I've already walked there once. I don't really want to walk there again, so frankly, we're gonna try it, and we're gonna see if it works. Fast travel, yes, the old estate of Delmeric. Wasn't this in the jungle that we found, like, this burned out, like, husk of a estate? Pretty sure, like, last episode we went there, and there was nothing there of use. So I guess now we know why it's here, because it's part of the main quest. What up, we've made it. 
We might have left but rubble. Okay. By the wise Herman, how long has it been since I was last here? Who the hell is this? Come oh, on. I killed we're this person there. last time. No, no, we're already here, buddy. Uh, where are you going now? Where are you going now? Guess we're gonna follow him. His AI might just be on an incredible derp right now. But I mean, he seems to be walking with purpose, so... We'll just follow the man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, get the lioness. It will dishearten the male, because he'll have no one to bang. And then he'll just, you know, commit seppuku. That's the way it works, right? In the animal kingdom? Just about don't, don't fuck with me, man. Get off of the plant. Okay. Carts. They must belong to prospectors. My get. Hmm. That means someone has found our little cave since then. Seems no secret can stay secret forever. But I am a badass anyway, man. Anyway, let's go on in. I'll prove to you this is all nonsense. All right, buddy. I think he's wrong. I think his sister is totally behind it. Don't tell him I said that. Look at these flowers. My God, oh, plants. I guess they're not really flowers. They don't have petals, thus they're not flowers. What is this? It's a fire pinch. You sneaky peep. You thought you were going to hide from me. Did he just fall through the... He fell through the earth itself. All right, then. In we go to the old shadow steel mine. A mine. Can you imagine? Loading. Please wait. There we go. Hooray. We're following the leader, the leader, the leader. Oh, God damn it. Oh, that one is quite tough. All right, stand back, Jesper. I might dunk you with these fireballs, my friend. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna summon an Orbea. Go, Orbea, buddy. Do my bidding. And then we're gonna clobber this fool. One for you. Look at Jesper, he's gone bloody ham. What the hell am I stuck on? Hey. Yeah. All right, you should be able to finish that guy off, Jesper. I believe in you, buddy. I believe in you. Can't see a thing when my summon does that. There you go, get him, team. Well, thanks. It was me, because I summoned you. Thus, I did it. If these are running free here, I suppose there's not much left of the diggers. What you gonna do, brothers, when the lost ones run wild on you? What you gonna do? You're gonna be racist like Hulk Hogan. Where are they coming from? Is there a crypt nearby? Farther down, yeah. They belong to an old landlord. When Adela and I came here, we always made sure the gate stayed shut. But someone must have opened it. Or maybe the Red Madness awakened the corpses and they did it themselves. Poor sods. I should never do that, by the way. My throat kind of hurts now. I'm gonna take a drink. One second. It was worth it, though. It was worth it. Oh, okay. God. Okay. I'm not gonna loot these dudes, because they will have shit. Because they always have shit. Uh, how much space do we have? Yeah, quite a bit, actually. Well, in that case, let's at least see what this sword is. Edge junk. That's what I thought. Junk, you are mine. Yo. Am I the only one? I mean, I know the video quality is not going to be great on YouTube, but like... That looks really fucked up. It's super blurry and just ends right there. Okay, let's not look in that direction. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Well, at least we have beds here to rest on. Should we need to? Look at this guy! He knows where it's at. He's resting on the job already. I can't move you. I can't move you. I think his sword's like pinning him down. Watch this. I bet if we take the sword, I bet I can now move his corpse. See? Really strange. Don't know why that's a thing, but it is, and I don't want that, so let's just get that crap out of here. Alright, I'm coming, Jesper. I'm coming. Jesper. I don't know why I say his name like that. Is this Hutch? Is this like, uh, oh, hello. Oh, you're not a lady. You're just a dude. No, you are a lady. Hey, baby. How are you doing? It's not her in the least. She's dead. I mean, unless you're into that. And if you are, that's weird. I'm just gonna, I mean, maybe controversial to, for me to say that necrophilia is weird. I think it is. You know? You want to be a furry and, or like, take golden showers, be my guest. But don't fuck dead people. You know? I mean, at the very least, get their permission whilst they're alive. Like, yo, when you're dead, can I fuck you? And if they're like, yeah, sure, why not? Then go for it. But other than that, I shouldn't have dropped down here yet, should I? Probably not now. Well, balls. Eh, yeah, it looks like we can get back up easy enough. What is this? Oh, it's nothing. Jesper, come back, buddy. Come back. I need you. Uh, there's a cool looking door down there, Jesper. We're not going that way? Alright then, man. I'm gonna trust you that you know where you're going, because you know, you're AI, ultimately. Don't tell him that, though. He thinks he's real, like Pinocchio. There, up ahead. That's the clearing where Adela and I always went. If someone's waiting for us, then it'll be there. 
Well, I don't see anything. Good, what's your plan? I... I don't think we should go down together. If a dealer really is waiting down there, and I'm still not sure she is, I'm pretty confident she wants me to come alone, as our code said. So oh, I, I suggest you mean. stay hidden and cover my back. Okay, buddy. I'll be like a... a, a, a shadow. Uh, we are talking about a serial killer here. I think... I think you have to kill three plus people to be a serial killer, so they would, uh, they would qualify. Someone who has the might of a black stone, I'm sure she didn't call you here to talk. She's gonna wreck your face. Well, truth be told, I think that if it is her, then it is talking that she's after. But Blackstone, Remember man! Remember when I told you that I've been worried about her for quite some time now? Back on the ship. What I'm saying is, if the she really was wanted to kill me, she could have already done it. All of this, this morbid paper chase, I think she wants to tell me something. Which is why it's so important for me to go alone. Who knows what she'd think if I showed up with someone else. Especially your boyfriend, because... Because you are my boyfriend, right? All right, then. But if anything happens, I'll intervene. <sighs> yeah. You see Don't die on me. Ahead? This will get me down to the pit. You should take the path through the crypt, just down that tunnel a few steps back from here. Then stay hidden. This is all just a misunderstanding. I'm sure of it. One step forward and two steps back. Nobody gets too far like that. One step forward and two steps back. Don't nobody get to buy like that. Well, anyway, we saw the door back here. So this is this is why this badass door is here, because we have to go through here anyway. Oh, my old bay is dead, isn't he? Well, that makes me sad. Oh, Lord. That makes me sad. You didn't tell me there'd be skeletons, Jesper. Jesus, man. Let's take out Archibald. He's alive? Okay, no, he's dead. Swing at me. You're not supposed to hit me. I said swing at me. That's different from hitting. Bad touch. All right. What do we got in here? Your item has insufficient charge. I mean, I'm well aware, but thank you. A coin bus and a bunch of junk. I want the bows. Old shadow still mine. Clipped. Let's pick save because apparently we're. Oh dear. Is that a mage? Is that a mage? Do you have magic? You got magic? No, okay, you're a melee dude. And you, however, are an archer, which means, frankly, you can burn to death. All right. We'll deal with those in a bit. They don't seem to be able to get to me, otherwise they'd probably be running around. You know what? Have some fireballs. Okay. So, we gotta go through this dungeon to get to Jespar, I guess. Not unconventional, Jespar, I'm not gonna lie to you. Also, I feel quite lonely now, and there's like a thousand enemies. Oh my god. Alright, get the Orbea back out. We might have to, uh... Do I have a one-handed weapon? Uh, I don't think I do, because we have our shield still, but we don't have a bloody weapon to use with it, which is really dumb on my part. That fucking hit me! Okay, seriously, the hitboxes on this game need some work. Like, Christ almighty, Bethesda. <laughs> like, did you see that shit? Like, wow. I could have been further away. Oh, let's try the bow. Jeez, he's, he's doing some work. He's doing some work. Yay, we leveled up. Mana, which means fireballs of justice. Injustice is served to get tea bags. That's what's called a tea bag of justice. Everything is justice. Every tool in my hands is a tool of justice. I feel like there's going to be a trap around here, so I'm trying not to walk on things that might be triggering arrows and shit to shoot at me. Why are there spider webs down there? Cool if we could open this up and go down there, like drop on the web or something, break the web, surf the web. I don't know. I'm not going to explore this dungeon properly, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just going to go where we're supposed to be going, because i got to go soon. That's mainly the reason, but also, I'm bored of Draugr Ruins. I was bored of Draugr Ruins in regular Skyrim. I certainly don't really want to be doing Draugr Ruins now. No, you know, no offense to the mob makers, it's just, how many Draugr can a man kill in one lifetime? Like, I, I'm i sick of them. Sick of them. I know it's not called a Draugr, but it is a Draugr. Well, that's a skeleton. That's a bad example, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, that's a dead end. I think I still hear my old bear. There is gonna be a trap here. There's not. Wow, okay. And hopefully this leads us straight back to Jespar and Co. Seems like it might. Yep, okay. Observe Jespar and a dealer's talk from the thicket. A thicket is a bunch of bushes, so basically. So you came. I have to admit, I didn't expect that. The fuck is she? A dealer. So it's true. What is this? Why am I here? And what did you do to that man? Still as forgetful as you were back then, aren't you, brother? To the circle! Now! 
Who the hell is that? Maybe someone she's uh, being the On judge over. Knees. On your knees, now Doug. Now look at him, Jaspar. Look at him carefully. Is that their father? Valencio Duran. Nope. By the name of the son. The man who killed our family. Correct. You should have seen it. How he screamed and begged for mercy. Pathetic. But I'm afraid I've got bad news for you, Valencio. Never again. I'll make sure that you never again hurt anyone. And I'll enjoy it. Just as I'll enjoy what I'll do to all those who are up next. Adila, please. This is ridiculous. You have no idea what you're saying, let alone what you're doing. Please, just... I know damn well what I'm doing. Better than I ever did. I'll continue where Father had to stop. And I'll make them all pay. All these bastards who think they are above justice. <sighs> I should have known you wouldn't understand. Just look at you, staring off into space and asking all these stupid questions. But you know what? I'm not here to justify myself. I'm here because I think that despite all you did, despite all you became, you deserve to witness justice as much as I do. To see this bastard pay for what he's done. And believe me, I will not make it quick. The Black Stone. Oh, damn. Then... Then it's really true. Told you. You know of the stone? Yes. Yes, I... Listen to me, Adila. Whatever you've done over the past months, you didn't do it of your own free will. The stone, it, it's evil, and it controls you. Evil! What is this, Jaspar? One of your brilliant jokes? We Dalvariks have had this stone for generations. Father, he lived this calling, but he failed to see what the stone really was. A gift of fate. A means for us to carry out our destiny. To bring justice to a world where there is none. But I saw, and I will use it. No, no, you're seeing this wrong. The stone, it, it's cursed. It wants you to... Shit, damn it, I, I just don't know what to say. Surprise, Jespar. You never did. Oh, snap, son. it doesn't son. matter now. Go, Jespar. I've changed my mind. I got sentimental. Thought I owed you this, but I really don't. You don't understand me, just as you never understood father. And listening to you talk makes me remember why I kept away from you all these years. Just look at what you've become. Running around and working for the kind of people father tried to bring down. Treasure hunter. You're a thug. You might as well yeah, just have spit on know. father's grave. All right. This is getting us nowhere. You obviously think you know what you're doing, but you don't. Which is why you'll now give me the stone. Before it'll make you do something you'd regret. What? Jerry. Jerry. You'll give it to me. Something bad's about to happen, and without it, we won't be able to stop it. You can keep doing whatever it is that you do, but you'll have to do it without magic. I'm sorry if this isn't what you wanted to hear. So, this is why you really came. You want the stone for yourself. What did they pay you just for, huh? What? No. Uh, go. Adila, I... Go! She is about to As you fuck wish. him up. Do I need to intervene, Jasper? Just I'm call sorry. me. Just do our special oh, whistle. You. Damn! Ah! Ah! Did you just kill Jasper? Did you... Did you just kill Jasper? Oh my god. Next time, we'll find out if Jesper is dead and we will confront his sister. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, I always appreciate it. I like it. I will see you next time for more Ender Good night, everybody, and goodbye.